Hey there, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com bringing you weekly videos about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. And this video is about one of my favorite archangels, Archangel Raphael, who rules the East and the element of air. And I made a video about this quite a while ago, but if you haven't seen it, um, it's a great story and I'll recap it really quickly. I was flying back to LA from Boulder, Colorado, from Denver, really Denver airport, um, three or four years ago. I was at a conference there and I was coming back alone and there was a lot of turbulence on the flight. It was really scary, like very, very turbulent. And I was nervous, I don't like turbulence, and I immediately started calling Archangel Raphael quietly in my head, like with my mouth shut. I wasn't gonna say that out loud, but I was like, Raphael, Raphael, like help, 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 Archangel Raphael, please help me. Just over and over, and saying it like a mantra really calmed me down and soothed me down. And then, you know, the turbulence stopped, the plane leveled off, and everything was okay. And I reached into the pocket of the seat in front of me and there was paper there. I pulled it out and it was the boarding pass of the person who had flown before me. And her name was Angel. And she had flown from LaGuardia, which means to guard in Italian. And I thought that was the most amazing angel sign ever. Like right then and there, like how awesome is that? And, and that's how angels show up. They really do with, with amazing signs. And the thing about angels is, I've been doing this clairvoyant work for over 10 years now. The thing about them is they are undeniably real. Their power is incredibly strong. And if you need help of any kind and you ask for them to help you sincerely, they will come through and they will come through with assistance. They will come through through people. They'll come through signs. You'll see so many things pertaining to the angels that you're calling on that it's, it's nothing short of miraculous. It really, really is. And if you like this topic, by the way, I would love it if you would join the club and subscribe, leave really nice comments, start conversations, talk to each other about this, share stories about your experiences. Because I think the more that we create like a forum to share, the better. Because we are, those of us who are believers, we are at the forefront of this new wave in human evolution. You know, we only use 10% of our brains. There's so much more that we're capable of and there's so much more to the multiverse that we are aware of. There's so much more to this world than just this little planet Earth in this solar system. And when we start to explore and discover, it's just so much fun and it's more fun doing it with fun, like-minded people. So that said, um, I've done a lot of work clairvoyantly with angels and what I've found in working with clients is when I call on an angel to help me in an energy healing it's so much more powerful and they really do come through than if I was just you know trying to run the energy myself like like if someone were just running Reiki or running um, what's the emotion code or running like theta healing or some other different kind of energy when you bring angelic vibrations in it's a whole other ball game and it's it's astounding and the way that you see angels clairvoyantly is is with bright the bright colors like the most beautiful colors i don't really see faces i just see colors in light beings of light is what they are and they are protective they are healing they're helpful and they, like I said, I just can't, I'm going to reiterate it. They are very, very real. So I can't say that enough of how very real they are. But um, there are different ways that you can call on them. So you can chant their names like a mantra, like I did on the plane when I was worried about all that turbulence. Or you can use um, more of a magical approach and you can use elements that they're associated with and create a sort of whole kind of 
set up to to invoke their presence now I'm not going to teach you how to do that here but in another video I made about Archangel Michael I talked about one of my favorite authors I have her book here um, Kabbalah and the magic of angels and her name is Mijen Gonzalez Whipler and she is a scholar of the Kabbalah and of um, many magical traditions she knows so much and I am so grateful to her for sharing this information and for publishing all of these books if you're interested in Kabbalah if you're into angels if you're into spells and rituals she has written so many awesome awesome books about them and she knows her stuff so a shout out to me Jen for all of her incredible work and I would love to read to you what she's written about Archangel Raphael and his associations because when you know um, all the things that the angel is associated with it makes it easier to call on them and bring them forth into your reality in a very you want to be very reverent and very um, very respectful about it and, and not do it lightly it's it's a very um, very special sort of procedure when you when you call on on angels in this way but let me read to you what she says about Raphael Raphael rules the second heaven Rakie I don't know if I pronounced that right the eighth sphere of the tree of life Hod and I don't know if I did that if it's Hod or Hod but I think it's Hod and Mercury Raphael's name means God has healed his Kabbalistic number is eight his planetary color is orange as ruler of the air element Raphael's colors are yellow and violet but these colors are not used when he's invoked Raphael is known as the angel who stands in the Sun his ascribed day is Wednesday he rules the zodiac signs of Gemini and Virgo Raphael rules the intellect studies teachers papers contracts books communications correspondence medicine doctors and nurses the caduceus is one of his symbols as he is known as the divine physician the illnesses he rules are epilepsy meningitis all nervous or mental ailments and illnesses affecting the respiratory system the nervous system the arms the mouth the tongue the pancreas the gallbladder the intestines and the thyroid his flowers and plants are the magnolia lily of the valley forget-me-not lavender parsley elm tree marjoram mandrake and all ferns among his fruits are oranges and almonds his incenses are sandalwood storax gum arabic and clove his stones are carnelians all the agates fire opals celestites aquamarines and amazonites the animals he rules are foxes jackals mules giraffes monkeys parrots and all flying insects especially butterflies his metals are quicksilver silver and aluminum and i love all those um associations i think it's there it's fascinating and if you read her book again this is Mijen, one of her books she talks about ways in which you can use these to to call on the angels but a very simple thing you could do is let's say knowing that his flowers and plants are you know magnolia lily of the valley blah blah blah, blah lavender like you could place like a candle maybe a lavender scented candle or an orange candle um because his planetary color is orange and then maybe a little piece like a lavender flower and a carnelian or a fire opal you know you could put all that kind of together on an altar and then say a prayer to Archangel Raphael every day to help you that's how those associations work in the, the most simplistic form but um I definitely feel Raphael's presence I tell my son to call him that he's his angel because Ivan is a Libra double Libra so he's an air sign and um, 
it's interesting how he's so fascinated, just a little boy, so interested in, in angels and wanting to hear about them. We went to France last year and we're at Sacre Coeur, which is one of my favorite cathedrals in the world. It's so beautiful. The energy there is palpable. It is so high and, and so precious. And I remember sitting there with him. And if you, you sit inside and you look up at the ceiling, there are the four major archangels right there. I remember sitting with him and looking up at them and talking about the angels and it, it's just so beautiful and it's so high up that cathedral that you feel like you're kind of closer to the heavens I think that was the point when when they were building it but I digress a little bit um, what else is there to say except if you're interested in seeing how they work go ahead and start calling them every day and start asking the angels to come into your life to help lift you up and to help shift things or to help open open roads for you and and just in any and every way that they can because I believe that they know more um, than we do about what would be helpful for us so that's it about Archangel Raphael thank you so so much for watching but before I go if you're interested in all of this stuff my website krishandi.com I've got psychic development workshops I've got meditations I've got um, video classes. I've got a free psychic development intro video class that you can get. If you, you go there, you have to sign up right now at Thinkific to get it, but that's free if you want to just test the waters. But there's so many resources there that I've created that I'm continuing to add to at Krishanti.com. So check it out. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.